Did I tell you my mother's here? Mike, uh, welcome back. I'm just waiting around for Tom and Crow, and then Mike, Tom, and I are taking a very active role in our personal security. Yep, that's why we got these taser guns. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you know you want to be careful with those things. Ah! Like you're scaring them. Don't hurt him, Mike. Ooh, Jeez. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I've never seen him like that. I know, I know. I didn't want to shoot him, but he scared me. He stirs. Hit him with your peppercorn mace. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, careful, Mike. Don't yell, don't yell, Mike. You're scaring me, Mike. Mike. Oh, God, my ass. No, no, Mike. Okay, okay. Get your green dice so we can permanently mark the perpetrator. All right. You're scaring me again. I'll be right back. Mike, Mike. Guys, this isn't funny. My face is really green. <laughs> it's not that green, no, Mike. It's incredibly green. Does this stuff even come off anyway? Uh, really, oh. Mike, it's it's not that green. No, it's green. <laughs> and now Dr. F is calling. <laughs> My face is green. Surprise, it's me. My Clayton has asked me to invite all of you. Clayton! To a little recital I suggested he give. Clayton! Uh, hi, guys. I presume you remember Mother. She's going to be visiting here for a while. And living? I, uh, living here for an interminable amount of, in, indetermined amount of time, and uh, it's, it's really great to have her here. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I used to play the trombone, and Mom thought it would be good if you Nobody heard me play... Nobody wants to hear you talk, Clayton. Uh, right, Mother. Not bad at all, but maybe if you tried something a little more like this. Like art. Oh, mother. Don't give me that. You do the thing with the tongue. Oh, oh Clayton, you are so embarrassing. Everyone is better than you. What do I have to do to get you to act like a member of the human race? Oh, if I'd only had the daughter I'd prayed for instead of you. Oh, <laughs> sure. Oh, Clayton, Deborah, Susan, Forrester, you have ruined it for me again. Why does this always happen to me? Trust you'll put up with Mother. She's really a dear, dear. Um, anyway, uh, your movie this week is Night of the Blood Beast. It's a short as well. 
I have no I do love her. Oh, I could just give it back. Yeah. Never have let his father touch me. Hold that tiger. Hold that tiger. Here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We got moving crowd. Let me freeze. Get it. That roundly sucks. I wish I had a pretty purple phone to match my purple gypsy color. Ooh, see, Hi. thanks. Wow. Ooh, let's see. I wish I had a lovely phone with combined Kenner Easy Bank. Oh, jeez, it's heavy. Oh, hey, hey. Let's go be in there. Oh, oh, I think I turned my shirt. Oh, oh, I wish I had a princess phone mounted on half of an ocelot. That's an ocelot. Come here, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Whoa, wow. Watch it. Hey, let's see. That looks Oh, wow. I wish I had one of those things with a thing on it, and they were cheap, and one of my friends would call and chat with me. This is fantastic. It's for you. Okay, yeah. huh? Hello, 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 hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. And if you say goodbye, I'll hello, suck hello. you in the eye. Hello. Then line you up against the wall and pop goes the weasel. And if you say goodbye, I'll, I'll suck you in the eye. Then line you up against the wall and pop goes the weasel. Brought to you by your phone council, reminding you to decorate with bone. Bones! Go. Yeah, you got him. Uncle, 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 uncle. Uncle. Uh, hi, uh, Mrs. Forrester. You're looking nice today. Yeah, right. Look, kids, my Clayton has something he wants to say to you, don't you, Clayton? I do? Yes, you do, young man. Now you come right here, front and center, and you tell your little friends what you did. Uh, Mother, uh, don't talk to the experiment. You'll tape the data. You come here ah. and apologize. <sighs> Mother, apologize for what? What did I do? Don't take that tone with oh. me. I think you know the high school incident. Oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking Clayton? about. Clayton? Mother? Clay? Oh, uh, was it the time I ate the bag of wool? No, the bad thing. Oh, ha. Uh, I peed in Brian Falong's locker. No. I, uh, I, I puked uh, Cocoa Puffs and hot chocolate into uh, Kevin McConnell's No. Uh, is it poop related? Clayton, you know very well what it is, and I think you will feel better if you just admit it and apologize. Mother, make it stop. Clayton, Deborah, Susan, Forrester. All right, Mom. All right, come on, you and me. Come on, we will dance. Come on, you want a piece of me? Huh? Huh? Come on, huh? Oh, oh jeez. Ah. Oh. Ah, jeez. Oh, nice shooting, Mother. Oh, oh, mother, blood. Aren't you hooligans due back into the theater? Back in the theater! <laughs> Mom? Dad? Little red guy? I have something to tell you. I have lain with Blood Beast and I am pregnant. Don't believe me? Here, look at the fluoroscope. Oh, sure. Fluoroscope? Mm -hmm. Fine! Oh, my God! Please don't make this any harder than it is. We're in love, and you can't stop us. He's going to work at Stokely's till the end of the summer, and then he's going to move in with us. Gee, bro, <laughs> they kind of look like peel and eat shrimp. Thank you. Do you need a glass of water? Uh, Crow, uh, how did this happen, anyway? Oh, me, a blood beast, a bottle of wine. Would you like a pickle? Uh, you know, Crow, I, I, I don't really believe you're pregnant. Uh, Mike, I'm crowning right now as we speak. Oh!
All righty then, I'm pregnant. Could be complications. Uh, <clears throat> here, I've got a list of demands. Oh, okay. Uh, Take a look here. Uh, complete bed rest with comic books and videos. Mm -hmm. Servo must clean my room and I get all his food. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crow, you're not pregnant. You haven't even got a womb. And I think you're supposed to give me a baby shower right about now. What do you think? Hmm? Crow, you're not pregnant. I mean, how would you even have a baby? Why don't you just admit you're not pregnant? Okay, okay, I'm not pregnant. Ah. Hey, everybody, I'm not pregnant. Oh, well, that means I don't get a big free ride. Oh, my ankles are swollen. My back hurts. Carry me, I'm pregnant. Carry no. me. Well, I want a cut of the action, too, damn it. Crow? Yeah, well, who wouldn't want to be pregnant, huh? Who wouldn't want to be a big load on the rest of the world? Hey, everybody, I'm queen of the world because I'm pregnant. Then the whole world is supposed to bend over and smooch your ever-widening ass. Crow, 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 crow. Jeez. Well, when is it my turn? When is it Crow T. Robot's turn? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. Where do these babies get off thinking they're kings of the world? Oh, I'm helpless. Feed me. Change me. Yeah, like, okay, I can't control my bodily functions either, Mike. So I guess you'll just have to follow me around hey, and hey, clean up my poop. Hey, Crow, can hmm? I just, can I read a letter? Yeah. Can I just, I'm, just this letter? Sure, can sure. I just read? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Fine. It's just, you know. Just, ah! Go, go read. Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, this uh, this one's a nice one. It's got a little picture with it. Why don't you put that picture up there? Oh, look at that. Okay, this one's from Leah. Hi, Leah. She says, Hi, my name is Leah. I'm seven. Mm -hmm. I made a poppet friend for Tom Servo. Oh, Probably maybe. Needs puppet. Do me a favor and hand me that box scent wrench. Wah, I can't. I'm a baby. Well, look, punk, if you can't do me that one favor, that's just fine. Hey, Crow, Crow, do you, need, do you need to just vent? I mean, go ahead. Just nah. Come no, on, no. Come it, on, it, no. Go it, ahead. It, it, just that, 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 ah, yeah, go on with your letter. I'm, oh. well, that was ruined. Let's okay, see if we can all right, fine. I got another uh, nice letter here. Uh, again, put it on Still Store Cambot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This one is from uh, Lisa. Lisa. She says, hey, guys. Lisa. My name is Lisa, and I'm 13. I always watch your later yes, show at night. Babies. My mom yes. and I watch you it. You know, frankly, it's about time a few of the babies out there started pulling their own weight. How many years has it been we've been pampered and preening a little pink larva anyway, huh? Uh, yeah, you know, the sick thing is... Sixth thing, I, I'm probably going to take a lot of heat from baby lovers just for saying the things everybody else wanted to say but didn't have the guts. <laughs> well, well, right in, right into me. Crow T. Robot, P.O. Box, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Hush, little baby, do not say a word. Oh, that's not true. How could you not love this baby? Mother, I'm not a baby anymore. Hush, you are a very naughty baby. Go back to sleep, little uh, baby. I'm so glad my mother is here. What, baby? I mean, wah, wah, wah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, that's great, Sherry. Let's do it. Uh, points? Those any good? Well, sure, I'll take a few. Why not? Okay, I'll hold. Hi, guys. What's up? Howdy. Well, Servo's buying a duplex yep. in Philadelphia. Uh -huh. It's a real drive-by cutie. Oh, wow, it? that's a terrific idea. I'll tell you why, because you can take party... Wait a minute. How? That's easy, Mike. Turns out you can purchase one of these beauties with no cash. With no cash? Uh-huh. It's called the no cash method. Old world charm galore. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's great, Tom, but, yep. you know, just a cursory glance at this shows me that you're going to be losing $2,000 a month. Really? Oodles of curb appeal. Jeez, that's a paper loss. Mike, try to relax. I write it off my income. You don't have any income. So I income average. Jeez, you'd be doing this, too, if you had any cojones. Such a drive-by cutie. You're going to prison for sure. We'll be right back. Oh, Sherry's back. Sherry, good. Let's lock it. You're a cutie. You are. You're a yeah, drive-by yeah. cutie. Yes, you got right. cojones. <laughs> Locked into a 30-year fix, then I sign the papers, and boom! Not Looks only like am I a homeowner, I'm actually making money in the squirrel. deal, but really? charging the rent to double the monthly mortgage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa, there's your smell. Yeah. And don't you dare kill this boyfriend like you did the last one, Clayton. Uh, yes, Mother. Uh, hi, guys. Mom has a date tonight. <laughs> Clayton, be a dear, get that? Sure. Okay, there's nothing else I need to do. I'm a personal slave, that's probably why you had me. <laughs> It's open. Hi. 
Uh, hi. Uh, Mom, that guy is here. I'm Sandy. You must be Pearl's boy. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm sewing the head of a piglet onto a fish. Oh, oh yeah. Hobbies are great. Oh. I do model trains. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Excuse me. Your mother is one fine woman, Clay. Just between you and me, I wouldn't be expecting her home tonight. Mother! Hi, Sandy. Pearl, you are looking. <sighs> well, looks like you two have had a chance to get to know each other. Okay, listen up, people. Mother is going out with her friend Sandy tonight, so Art, you're in charge. Bro! Oh, come on! No way! Sure, Pearl. Now you have yourself a good time and don't worry about a thing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. So what Art says goes, people, and that means you too, Clayton. Okay, you big babies, here are the rules. Go to bed now and don't get up or I'll put your hands in a garbage disposal. No! Shut up, kid. Look, Crow, there's no way. I'm bigger than you and I'm older than you. There's yeah. no way you're my babysitter. Yeah. Just for that, you wash my feet. Crow. Shut up. Crow. Shut up. Crow. Shut up. Crow. Go to bed. Crow. You shall live. Thank you. Shut up. Bye-bye, sweetie. I'll be back whenever I feel like it and there's no number where you can reach me. Ciao. No, oh, mother, no! Oh, well, he's not the first oily man that's taken mom to the mat. <laughs> Your experiment this week is a Rondo Hatton vehicle called Brute Man. And there's also a short. Aren't you supposed to be in bed by now? Get back into bed, you. Would you stop? Would you stop? Oh, what have you kids done? What have you done, you stupid kids? Uh, should I be sitting astride you with my warm and nurturing hindquarters or anything? No, no, I'm just fine. Oh, How do you do, Crow? Hey, you I... seen Tom around anywhere? Hi, Mike. I'm in here. <laughs> hey, Tom, how you doing? You okay in there? Oh, more than okay, Mike. I'm floating in a sea of warm nutrients, and I'm all set to begin my 21-day gestation period. I want to experience the miracle of chicken birth, Mike. Yeah, plus there's a huge market for them egg-hatching movies. Mm. So we got uh, Cambot filming the whole thing. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Uh, you know, it really is beautiful, too, Tom. But, you know, I wish you'd told me about it before you did this. Really? Why? Well, you're the, uh, the only one that... Hello? Yeah, go on with your story. Well, I was going to say, you know, three weeks without you, I mean, you're the only one I depend on for any kind of urbane conversation. Well, I understand, Mike, but it's too late now. Just put me in a warm place, soak me in some enzymes. And no, we'll you know over. what? i got to get you out of there. I can't no, no, live Mike, without Mike, you. Mike, I'm not ready I, to have no, you. Be careful. Fully fully I don't please, completely don't panic. Panic. Oh, oh, oh. What a mess. <coughs> we'll be right back. I'll go get a whole bunch of paper towels. Oh. Right. right. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh. Whoa, 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 how long are you going to be on that phone there, Tex? Because I'm expecting an important phone call from Sherry, my realtor, about the duplex and all. Yeah, that's great. But listen, Tom, I had the idea, hey, we have a phone. <laughs> Why not call someone like my old girlfriend, Carla, and she could help us get down from here? Well, that's a cute idea, too, Mike, but uh, keep it around 30 seconds, will you? Because Sherry's probably trying to get a hold of me. Yeah, whatever, fine. Hello? Oh, hi, Carla. Hey, it's me, Mike Nelson. Mike! I'm good. Hey, listen very carefully. This is going to sound weird, but I'm trapped up in space. It's the okay, weirdest thing. hang on, Mike. My little boy Matthew wants to say hi to you. Well, no, this is kind oh, of important. Matthew. It's... Say hi to Mike. Hi, Matt. Say hi, Mike. Uh, hi. Say hi, Mike. Hi. 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 Could you give the phone back oh, now, Mike, please, you didn't play Matt? Today. Huh? That's, awesome. That's great, Matt. That's terrific. Sounds like fun. Hey, could you give the phone back to your mom now? Great. Uh huh. Give the phone. Give the phone back, Matt. Mike, Matt, let me take care of this. Your... Let me take care of this. Matt, can you hear me? Yeah. Listen, son, hang up the phone. I'm trying to get a hold of my realtor, Sherry. Okay. Hey, bye. No, Thank don't you. hang up, Matt. Oh, oh great. Now look what you've done. This is our chance to get down. We got movies, son. Right too. Crying out loud. Naked. I've never seen okay, this is going to be great. Mike, I'm going to need your help. See that monitor down there? Could you lift that up on the desk? Oh, hey, there is a monitor mm -hmm. down here. Well, look at that. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Cambot, if you could zip ahead in the experiment to that part we talked about with the guy. And the, no, 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 not that guy. That, not, well, he, no, a little forward, forward. Yep. That, 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 that guy, that guy, that guy. Yep. Now, as I believe we've mentioned already, this guy looks quite a bit like former Republican presidential candidate Thomas Dewey. Dewey. Yeah, Dewey. Again, he looks like Thomas Dewey. Dewey. Right. Got it? 
Yeah, right. Great. It looks like Great. Tom Dewey. Yeah. Uh, Mike, if you could uh, lift that picture. See this picture back here? Just lift that picture hey. of Thomas Dewey up right. again. Yeah, yeah, Tom Dewey. There you me. go. <clears throat> All right. Okay, now listen. Here's what got me going. There's this old song called The Crimes of Tom Dooley. Uh huh. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. You know how that goes. Oh, right, sure. yeah. Yeah, I think I, I see where you're headed with this. Well, maybe. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. So, what got me to thinking was what would happen if instead of singing, Hang down your head, yeah, yeah. Tom Dooley. Dooley you you were to go Dewey. ahead and sing, Tom Dewey. Hang Dewey. down your head, yeah, Tom Dewey. Tom Tom Dewey. Dewey. Yeah. Right. Hang down your head and cry, right. Hang down your head, Tom, Tom Dewey. 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 Right. Poor boy, you're bound to die. There, you see? Well, that's great, Crow. <laughs> you make a real interesting point, and I think we can all see Well, how... let's go ahead and do it then, huh? Well, mm. I, I think you just did. Yeah. Well, Tom, uh, if you would sing the name if you want, and uh, Mike, uh, I believe it helps if you point to the picture. <clears throat> you're, you're probably right. Okay, great. Hang down your head. To Tom Dewey. Wee! Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head. Tom Dewey. Crow, what is your point here? Well, come on. Use your imagination. Why would Thomas Dewey have to hang down his head, huh? Well, um, I mean, uh, why would he be bound to die, huh? See? It's the juxtaposition of the Wind two up. names, and there's endless examples of this sort of fun. Uh, hey, here's another one. Hang on, Snoopy. Snoopy, hang on. Not Sloopy. No, it's Hank Kamba. Join me, Snoopy. Snoopy, hang on. Is a spark plug wrench. Hey, anybody seen Servo? No. No. Yeah, but if you take. Okay, the, that's yeah. great. All right, well, uh, I want to read a letter here. We've got a nice. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late. There Just finished is. closing on my duplex. Oh, hey, you closed from here? Sure. Sherry took care of everything. She's a super sharp gal. What's a closing? Well, all I know is you sign a lot of papers and you write a lot of checks. Oh, <laughs> and now you're a landlord. Yeah. Yes, sirree, Martha. <laughs> oh, I'll get that. It's probably for me. Hello, Landlord Servo here. What can I do you for? Guy's going to jail. Yep. Well, none of my concern. Here's a letter from uh, Krista and Dana. Krista! And, uh, hey, put, Dana. Put this up on Still Store. Ooh, you can see that nice, nice silhouette they drew down there. It says, hi, Mike, Tom, Crow, Gypsy, and yeah. Cambot. How are you guys doing over there? Fine, We're, thank you. Yeah, we are so nice glad thing. you uh, brought MST back to midnight. Our 70-year-old grandmother works all day, but she makes sure to stay yeah. up for MST 3000. Well, I don't know. Just don't flush the toilets. Uh, why don't you uh, put that uh, picture of uh, Nana up there on uh, Nana! Store. You can see she's giving the big thumbs up. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Well, do you so, really uh, need the water, on? I mean, they must have shut it off for a good reason. All right. And I uh, got another one here from uh, Carolee Bailiff. Hmm? And Carolee. she says... Thank you for helping me to discover that good things did not vanish with the Reagan presidency. Well, what do you mean I'm on the Village Voice top ten worst landlords list? I just bought the place. It's in Pennsylvania for crying out loud. Yeah, Philly. Hi. Mom and her new guy, Sandy, are just pulling up outside. I'm not really that upset about Sandy anymore. I just needed to figure a few things out. <laughs> After you, madame. Oh, Clayton, you're still up. Mm. Well, I'm going to go freshen up, don't you? Go anywhere, Sandy. So, did you have a good time? Ah, oh, sure, Clay. Let me tell you, my boy, next time you got a little chicky on the line, just take her to Chili's, set the hook, and boom! I will do that. Uh, drink, Sandy? Sure. I don't think I'm driving anymore tonight. I'm there. Oh, Clayton. Yes, Mommy? Did you turn Sandy into the chicken of tomorrow? Hey, I guess I did. Clayton, if you... Well, if you don't watch out for me, who will? Oh, Mother, I love you. And I feel quite strongly toward you as well. <laughs> Well, hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here uh, on the Satellite Love. This is Tom Servo, and we're just waiting around for Crow. Crow. Hello, hi. fellows. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I just had a shower. <laughs> uh -huh. Crow, did you... Uh... Lose weight? <laughs> well, are you... Uh... Uh, getting over the flu? No. I'm enjoying a more active lifestyle. 
with my new hair. Ah, Crow, I had no idea you even needed that. Was wearing that. a hair piece? Of course not. I chose this style because it blends better with my natural metal. Uh, Crow, you don't even need a hair piece. Oh, thank you, Tom. But I'm not ashamed of my hair loss. I just think I happen to look better and feel younger with hair. Oh, I'd also like you to call me Escobar. Well, Tom, you know, I think if Crow... If Escobar. Escobar feels that he needs a toupee, then that's uh, fine. It's we called should... a techno weave, Mike. Ah. I sent them a hair sample from the small of my back. Let me tell you, this thing is a chick magnet. <laughs> oh, here's another thing I got. Uh -huh. Let's see. Calf implants. Oh, my oh, God. <laughs> hey, looking's for free. The rest will cost you. I understand. <laughs> well, I'm off to shower again and enjoy my new active lifestyle. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, check out my new hinder implants. <laughs> Ugh. Not bad. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, Jimmy Smith's. We'll be right back. <laughs> Clayton! What? Clayton! Yes, Mother? Oh, God, God, Clayton, what? you're killing me, Clayton! Oh, Mother, you have Clayton. a parasite. You're going to be Clayton. fine. Oh, God, I'm dying. Clayton! Oh, God. Clayton! Mother! Clayton! Would you shut Clayton. up? Oh, Clayton! Mother, I'm sorry. Clayton! Look, I'm sorry! Clayton. Clayton. Yes? Clayton. Yes, Mother. Clayton. Come closer, Clayton. Clayton. Yes, Mother. Clayton, I want you to remember. Clayton. Oh, you poor mother, Clayton. Oh, God. Clayton, God. I'm not going to be around much longer, Clayton. Here's the deal, Clayton. Mike. Mother's a little sick. Clayton. And? Good morning, sir. We're introducing a new feature up here on the SOL. Would you like to supersize it for a dollar more? Clayton. Super what? Clayton. Clayton. Well, just a minute, Mother! What's the deal? Um, for just a dollar more, you can supersize the experiment, which means you can get the stove cord of potato planks, soot's bath of mellow yellow, and a large Mr. Misty burger for $2.99. Well, I don't... Uh, hold on. Oh, that's my number. I wonder who could be calling me. I don't give that number out to everybody. Excuse me, just a minute. I don't know, Mother. I'll be with you as soon as I'm done. But you don't have to have the Mr. Misty special. If you didn't want the potato planks, you could certainly go with the Mizza Treats Arati. That's a supersized Mr. Misty with a... I'm sure I don't want potato planks. Clayton, quit playing and talk to your mother, Clayton. Then you'll want the Mizza Treats Arati. I don't want the Mizza Treats Arati. Clayton, what could be taking you so long, Clayton? Well, there's no need to yell, sir. I'll go get the manager. This seems to be the problem. We've got to take care of this right away. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I think I can take care of everything for you. You want the meats of treats Rotti, but you don't want the potato planks. Uh, oh, sir, you, sh you, you should have told me you had a coupon before. I, get, I, I got to get the register keys. I'll be right back. I didn't know you had a coupon. That, okay, will this be together, sir? Together with who? Oh, the... Look, stop it! This is an experiment! Nobody's gonna supersize anything. Now you get into that theater, and you're gonna watch Deathstalker. You got Clayton, it? Clayton, God, don't yell, Clayton! You're killing me, Clayton! Don't! Clayton! Don't! 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 Somebody's gotta mock the bathroom. No way. Come on, I'll, auction, I'll give you a clown burger. Somebody's gotta get in there and mock that out. I'll do it for a clown burger. do it for a clown burger, then you do a lion sleep. But now we got both of these Well, hey, what you got going here, little fella? I'm um, huzzah, sir, and welcome to the King Vitaman Renaissance Festival. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is great. I never got a chance to get to one of these. Halt, ye ambitious cur. It's 25 bucks to get in. Oh, okay, well, that seems reasonable. Never got to one of these on Earth. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, well, smooch my medieval butt, you fusty plebeian. Huh? Oh, right, you're hurling medieval insults at me. <laughs> well, lay on, rat catcher. <laughs> ah, yeah, right. Come on, King Urinal. <laughs> Oh, behold, it's Tom Winkle, the sharp-tongued juggler. That'll be five bucks. <laughs> Welcome, oh, ass. Time for that jolly juggler, Tom Winkle. <laughs> wow. Well, that's the end of the show. Next show at three, leave a tip in the tambourine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God, this is better than I imagined. <laughs> yes, it's like stepping back in time, you worthless filth bag. <laughs> well, let's get the kiss by Jan Wench, bucket face. That's five bucks. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, she speaks. Speak again, bright angel, for thou art fairer to me than all the sons of heaven. Can it, Stop shark pants? You paid your money. Let's suck face. Oh, ah, okay. Well, and in Rome. Jeez, <laughs> what a cold fish. That's another 15 bucks.
Get slowly sweet. <laughs> I love this. This is so renaissance. Well, then get thy sorry butt cheeks over here to King Richard's Food Court. Here's the half-eaten turkey leg you ordered, only $12.50. <laughs> oh, well, well um, I only have like three bucks. It kind of cleaned me out. Well, get thee to the cash machine, you toad. Okay, right. I'll be right back. Don't Huzzah! sell that. Huzzah! 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 Go fill another room in the hell, you purple-hued malt worm. I heard oh, that. Oh, <laughs> rat at commercial sign. Well, no. sweep on, you fat and greasy citizen. What'd we get? What'd we get? 300 skins. <laughs> 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 the instructions for this thing? Uh, no, I don't know where they... Uh... Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> uh, Renaissance Festival all over? Oh, yeah, we felt like we'd really given you enough Ren festiness. For uh, yeah, Mike, we think we may have been a little hard on you. Oh, Pashaw, come on, I love the Renaissance Festival. Well, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, did you get your hand stamped when you left last time? Uh, no. Well, yeah. then, ye must pay to enter our kingdom again. <laughs> 2750, my lord. Welcome, ye old cow pie, to the Renaissance <laughs> Festival. Ah, and good portage, ye old sack of lung oysters. Join us now at the Fanny Paddling Pavilion. That's okay, right. Four dollars, please. Oh, all right. Now, bend over, Sir Doofus, and prepare to honor thy king. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> this is great. I love the Renaissance Festival. Huzzah! Oh, let the poor beggar up. So that yeah. he may be on his yeah. way. Yeah, there you go, Mike. You okay yeah. now, honey? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Come on. I mean, I paid the full price. I want the full treatment. Huh. Well, there isn't any more stuff to do. I suppose he could pet the camel. Ah, uh, camel's dead. Huh. Well, let's go pet the dead camel, then. Let's go pet the camel. Oh, we got to be on this side. The camel is puffing. Clayton? 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 Mother? Clayton. I'm going to go get you some Robitussin. Clayton. Is there anything else you need? No. All right, Do fine. Do you have any Reese's peanut butter cups? Yes, all right. Oh, Goodbye, Clayton. Mother. Anything else? No. All right. See if I have any nails. Be strong. Yes. Goodbye, Mother. Go, oh, Clayton. Baby Jesus, I hope I don't die before you get back. Art? 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 Hey, Pearl, how you feeling? Not good, Art, not good. I'm dying, you know. Art, Pearl could use some cheering up. Do you have the book Love's Sweet Throbbing Gondola? Gee, I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. Oh, good. Art, be a sweetie and read to Pearl? Sure. <clears throat> It was a time of war throughout the land. Young and fiercely beautiful, the lovely Delilah had seen enough of the bloodshed. Yeah, 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 that's, that's a fine heart. Skip to page 137 and do the voices, heart. Her heaving, milky white breast betrayed their confinement as they struggled to meet the touch of Antonio's hand. Delilah tore hungrily at Antonio's dungarees, which slipped to the floor like so many curtains in a blustery summer storm. Her womanly being was dewy from anticipation as he stood before her, golden and glistening with turgid yearning. And uh, then it just goes on from there. Uh, let's see. Pulling her close to him, blah, blah. Yielding petals of womanhood. Oh, Antonio, she cried out. Flesh bursting with pleasure and so forth. Okay, and uh, the war continued to rage across the land like a grass fire in the desert. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, I think I skipped a few pages. Nope. Mother, mother, are you all right? There was a small golden man reading to me from a dirty book. Of course, mother, yes. Okay. Hey, uh, Servo, are you going to help us out with this letter? In a minute, Miker. Almost done here. Okay. All right. Well, we have a letter here from uh, Shane McCowan of the Popes. Uh, Hi, Shane. No, it's Mallory McCowan. I'm kidding. He's, he's, he wouldn't write a letter. Dear Mystery Science Theater 3000, how are you? Fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm almost 10. Can I have everyone's photograph? I think, you know, she's 10. She's old enough. Yeah. I watch your show every weekend. Will you please write back? 
You do that. I'm right on it. I have one brother and one sister. I live in Morrow Bay. Well, got to go. And it was getting a little long. So yeah. thank you, Mallory. Uh, thank that's you. a nice letter there. Yeah. Whew, boy, hey. Let me tell you. There you go, Mike. Got a wild hair and forges up a ring of power. You know, one ring to rule us all, one ring to uh, find us, one ring to bring us all. And uh, in the in darkness, the darkness. Um, sure. find us. Find us. Yes, right. very good. Okay. Why don't you slip that on and see what happens? Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, go. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Huh. No. Huh. Nothing, huh? No. Nobody feels bound? No. Well, you know what? I'll bet the fire wasn't just hot enough. Why don't you give me back that ring and I'll zap around for another minute? Sure. In the old Ford, see what happens. Okay. Be yeah, careful I'll now. be right back. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, we'll be right here. It's okay. It's under control. Fire's just a little hot. Yeah, <laughs> there, there, there. Whew. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, there, that ought to do it. Why don't you try that on, Mike? Uh, sure. Careful, okay. it's a little hot. Uh, a little hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's uh -huh. got it. Uh, feels like it's uh, bringing us all and in the darkness, you know, yeah. finding us. Finding us? Great, right. yeah. great. Just don't wear it around any Nazgul, but you sure. probably know that. And if you have any questions, I'll be over here forging up those seven rings for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone. right Ah, oh. oh, Clay! Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. In honor of the Fall Classic, Servo's going to chuck a few in here. We're going to play a little hardball. Come on, stand in there, baby. Oh, we bet I'm going to stand in here, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, hey! Hi, Rita. What do you mean, hi, Rita? That ball almost hit me. Oh, Rita, hi, Rita. Rita. What do you mean, hi, Rita? That ball almost hit me. Mike, you can't argue balls and strikes. Yeah. I'll bounce you. Well, if Savannah Nelson can't handle a little chin music, come on, you mama's boy, you weak chin. Come, come, come on, give me that weak ass cheese. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's come it. on, come on, Nelson, come on. Oh, you're gonna give it to me. Give it right back to you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Some French fried potatoes for you, pal. Oh, thanks a lot, sir. Well, I'm sorry. It. What was that you said? I said thanks. Okay, okay. Oh, you. Hey, Mike, now say I was born on a pirate ship. I was born on a pirate. Hey, sir. <laughs> canned is not good because I think that. Well, why don't we get the cans and the can bottles? And bottles? We'll have that. Get the cans and the bottles. Hi, guys. Uh, Pearl and I have some news for you. Cool beans are at the studio. Bought one of your screenplays, Earth versus Soup. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, oh no Honey. way. Oh, man. Oh, no way. Oh, oh man, don't. I finally sold a screenplay. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, people, uh, the long and short of it is that Mother and I are in charge, and we'll be shepherding your little project for the studio. Mm -hmm, great. Okay, guys, we need to talk about some things. Do you have all your people there? Good. Uh, do you have your scripts? Uh, is everyone set to go? How was lunch? Okay, great. Art, I have looked over your script. Oh, good. Uh, let me just say that I will not have the script tampered with. And clearly there are some major script revisions needed. Uh, sure. Uh, great. Absolutely. Fine, fine. Whatever. And uh, 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 what kind of budget are we looking at here, uh, Pearl? Uh, Dr. Forrester. <laughs> well, we could only get you about $30 million for the entire movie. So how that shakes out is uh, roughly, well, 10% for each of us, 10% uh, for the company, insurance. Uh, Administration, holding fee, completion bond. So we should be able to shoot you about eight hundred dollars for the entire movie what <laughs> eight hundred from for thirty mil i can't do anything for eight hundred dollars come on huh hal needham once said give me a firebird and a dilapidated building and i'll give you drama oh eight hundred sounds fine oh, okay all right okay okay we're making a movie hey you guys hey. are going to be in my movie all right yeah and the studio insists on Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon? How are we supposed to get Kevin Bacon? We can't afford him. How are we going to get him up here? 
Well, again, guys, this is the big time. Well, the time has come to look at this issue, and by the end of the day, we'll be glad you did. Okay, 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 sure, fine, sounds good. I'll get my people right on that. Uh, oh, and uh, Dr. Forrester, Pearl, thank you. Okay, people, what are we doing standing okay, around here? Right, We've right, got right, police right, 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 Okay, listen up, everyone. Our film execs, Pearl and Clay, thought it might be a good idea to use a small 45% of the budget and take a shuttlecraft up here and have a little script confab. A one-page script? Can't we handle it by phone? A button it, meat puppet, or I'll make sure you can't even get a job in TV when this is over. Now pull the middle out of those bagels. Ah, they're here. Oh, Clay, <laughs> Pearl, welcome. Uh, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, we've got a busy day. What have you got for us? Well, to start, why don't we grab a seat, then I'll just nip off for some Pellegrinos. Oh. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> hey, how was the... Have a good <laughs> flight up here? Introduce good. me. Good. Oh, right. Uh, uh, Clay, Pearl, have you met Tom, sir? No, let's go. Uh, okay. Jay, great. Start uh, with uh, page right. 1A with the script uh, changes. I don't and... have 1A. I just have one. Did you guys fax us the changes? You... Yes, ma'am. Shot those off a while ago. Uh, is, I don't have that. This is yeah, the we'll, we'll February 11th. Oh, you must have Peter Graves the third... at the University of Minnesota. Yeah, you don't. Neither no one of these are any Let's good. Let's get a copy of the March 18th. You need the last three pages yeah, March because that's the March 18th meeting. So each one take that one there. All right. And also, we did that March 18th meeting. This is what we came up with. Only the second page. 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 Only
Uh, what about the film didn't you like? The film we just saw, Earth vs. Sue. What was it about you didn't like or didn't care for? Say, the plot or... Yes, Gary. Uh, the plot? The plot. Gary didn't like the plot. How many other people didn't like the plot? By show of hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we all didn't like the plot. Why? Why didn't we like the plot? What was it about the plot that we didn't like? Doug, why didn't you like the plot? I like the plot. I just thought it was too short. Ah, you thought it was too short. Okay. What were your favorite characters from the film? If you had one favorite character, who would that character be? The film you just saw, Earth vs. Soup, uh, favorite characters such as Mike or Cindy, yes. Mike. Uh, Cindy liked Mike. How many other people liked Mike? By show of hands? One, two, three. Okay, three people liked Mike. All right. How many people have an allergic reaction to shellfish? Allergic reaction or... Mild reaction. A mild reaction to shellfish. So, Tony, would this keep you from recommending this film to a friend? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes, it would, because you don't like shellfish. You wouldn't want to see shellfish in a movie. Okay. What if the soup were a different kind of soup? Say it was a, a chicken stock or or something like would it would you recommend it to a friend if it was uh, potato soup yes okay cindy uh you had your I hand i don't uh, like soup you, oh yeah you, that's right you're the one who doesn't like soup <laughs> what's that gary <laughs> uh, gary would like a sandwich <laughs> <laughs> how many people would like to have seen julia ormond naked julia one two three four so about half half would like to see julia ormond naked um what, if you had a rat cage strapped to your face again uh, guys we've got a lot of work to do we had 68 percent walkouts we have to get those numbers down also 74 percent of the audience didn't like the character of Cruella de Vil and even though the character wasn't in the movie we have to change those numbers would you like to see more crackers in the film the big kind of crackers or the small oyster crackers saltines, saltines yes good excellent <laughs> well, Crow, this is it. This is the day you find out if Earth versus Soup, the project that has dominated your life for uh, years. Well, years, yeah. really. Gets green lighted for release. Mm -hmm. You nervous? Mm -hmm. Hello? Crow? <laughs> yeah, just get it. Hi, guys. Everybody here? Good. Good news, people. Clayton, do you want to tell them? Oh, the studio's real excited, and uh, your movie's going to be released. Oh, wow. Excellent. Excellent. When's the premiere? When are we going to go? Oh, oh, look at the movie and for you. As a trailer. Huh? My movie's going to be a trailer? Uh-huh. This is very exciting. This is good news. We thought this would give us the widest possible release, and it will help us rein in that marketing budget. Well, we still have a lot of work to do. Oh, and there's one thing that we want to ask, and this is going to be covered in that $800. Could you remove your name from the credits as the film's director? Again, this is good news, guys. Uh, just a minute. Let me get this straight. Uh, I come to you with a movie. You supposedly get me $30 million to make it. You take uh, $29.5 million for yourself. I get a lousy $800. I don't get any credit, and my movie's released as a trailer. Oh. Ah! It's okay. It's okay, bud. Uh-huh, that's right. Good. We're all on the same page. Now, I'm going to be at Sundance on Wednesday. I'll be in Paris on Friday and then Cannes on Saturday. So don't try and get a hold of me. Becca, where are those tickets? Becca? Mother, I think I can get my whole head in here. That's nice, dear. Becca, push the button. Becca! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Satellite of Love. And if I could say in all sincerity that it really is a Satellite of Love this week, as I'm holding my annual auction to help the really good cause. Wait, 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 what's it for? It's for the really uh, sad kids with hurt puppies. OK, <clears throat> Christy, if you please, how much am I bid for this first item? A penny. A penny. This classic, durable, handcrafted penny. <laughs> I'll start the bidding at $85. <coughs> no? Who'll give me a dime? A penny? I, let's move on. Um, <clears throat> Christy, the, get oh. the nickel. Okay. Sure. Our staff the combed the globe looking for the best cost-no-object nickel, and this is it. What am I bid for this nickel? <coughs> Come on. The hungry rainforest <laughs> depends on... Uh, well, let's move on. Uh, oh, okay. Dollar. Dollar, hey. Uh, a dollar. Oh, no. I'd give you 60 cents for that, I guess. Um, it's 75. Sold! 
Okay, hey, let's tell me up the grand total if you could. That's a pretty good deal. Christy, uh, let's see. It was a dollar for uh, six uh, for the items, uh, 12 bucks for the material to make the stand. Uh, the tux was 300 bucks. Okay. Well, we lost only $312.31. <laughs> and next year, we'll lose even more. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, you cheap, heartless bastards. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we'll be right back after I talk to Bob Geldof here. Crow. Crow, I, I think you should admit that your little auction fundraiser was nothing but a fraudulent attempt to line your own pockets with some easy cash. Uh -huh. You know, um, I hate to ask, what are you doing now? Uh, well, the angle of the sun is just right, so I, uh, I thought I'd burn this ant I found while I was organizing my oily rag. Oh, what next? An ant? Crow, doesn't that seem pointless and cruel? Oh, like there's gonna be some kind of divine retribution. <laughs> well, maybe... Bingo! <laughs> That's the saddest thing to think ah. about. Oh, no! Whoa. My oily rags! Oh! Hi, guys. Some bad news. Although I'm sure you could see it coming just as well as I could. I finally had to put Mom in a home. Clayton! She'd really been slipping lately, just off in another world. Like last week, she said, Clayton, where's the coat rack? <laughs> where's the coat rack? <laughs> we don't even have a coat rack. <laughs> well, I guess we do, but she's just, her mind is gone. Clayton, you get me out of this house right now. Wow. Flames have spread the crew's oily rag to level 12, mate. Stand by, give me rocket number nine. Uh, uh, prepare to get us in the core. We don't have a core. We're all gonna die. Oh my God, do he. Thank you for those kind words, but in the end, this is the sort of personal tragedy that we must deal with in our own way. Clayton, I don't like it in here. Well, I promised her I'd visit. Uh, it's, it's not a lot of fun, but uh, she does seem to enjoy seeing me. Oh, no! Yellow Mother, it's me, Clayton. Do you recognize me? Clayton, you let me out of here? Well, I love to Mother, but I can't. Uh, 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 Clayton! Uh, well, Mike, your movie this week is Escape 2000. It's really the kind of thing Mother would enjoy had she still had control of her faculties. Clayton! Clayton, I'm Clayton! Oh, I'm hungry. I'm tired. It never stops. Death would be a blessing. Okay, all set up. Now you okay. want to keep it below this line. Hey, what's with right. all the lamp cord here? Is there some Radio Shack project gone horribly wrong? <laughs> oh, you big dope. It's biofeedback. It helped with my headaches, and I thought I'd get Crow set up here so we can relax. Biofeedback? Yeah. Ah, what a load of crap. It's nothing but snake oil, my friend. No, it sounds cool. Come on, you losers. Didn't you see that 160 Minutes episode? No. No? Oh, I'm sure there was one, and they found out that biofeedback is a bunch of hoo-ha, lamos. Never mind, Mike. All that matters is if it works. Uh, does it? Well, sure seems to help me. Okay, you're set. Okay. Now, uh, just relax and you'll start to feel your fingertips warm up, okay? okay. Just relax, okay? Right. Relax and now the tension will slowly start to melt away, okay? All right, great. All right, now relax. Good, you're doing a good job. Just relax. Fire! We got a fire! <laughs> what is it, Servo? I don't know. We got several small, spontaneous fires bursting out throughout the ship. Don't, um, no, back it off a bit. Uh, 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 get gypsy. Go to condition red. Uh, ah, yes. Very restorative. Ah. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's how we got the guy out of the cheese cutter. Hey, get me a cold one there, will you, Porter Uno? Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. He was uh, wearing his coveralls, so he was nothing but a bag of blood. Hey, you got that bullet coming there? I don't think we have any bullets. Come on, come on, hook yeah. me a brewski there. I, oh, hey, God. hey, 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 they reshelled the Thiesman injury. I got it on tape. I got a forehead VCR so we can freeze it. It's great. <laughs> right, come on, crack me one. Uh, open a window, sure. Oh, where's my 12-ounce curl there, buddy? Uh, we didn't bring any curls. I think oh, you're coming over for the game? 
Come on, Tistan, I want to be a mountain man. Well, that would be a nice thing to be. Come on, eat up, eat up, we got more stick. Come on, eat up, eat up, we got more stick. Come on, eat up, eat up, we got more stick. Come on, eat up, eat up, Come on, eat up, eat up, we got more stick. Come on, Come on, it's Miller time. Oh, really? I didn't realize it gotten so... No, 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 no. Come on, I got a dead soldier here. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be terribly tragic for you. Would you snag me one? Snag? No, stop that. Now, come on, pop me one. Okay, I'll have to come around to do it. Oh, God, I love men's night. This is great. Oh, we got movie time. Come on. How about a beer? Down for a hmm. No, no, I'm fine. No, I think I Come on, have a little of this. Oh, no, uh, hey, no, what would the Mads be calling at this hour for? Okay, it's like this, Nelson. I've been going over your Arbitron numbers, and despite our efforts to boost your ratings, they've been flatteroo. We tried MST nights, but the network just didn't go for it. Frankly, I blame you guys. Us? Why? Why? Because there's no kid. Every successful television show has had a winsome child of some sort. Take your uh, family affairs, your full houses, your The Avengers. The Avengers didn't have a cute kid. Well, split hairs, if you will. The point is, we need something cute on the show. Gentlemen, I give you Timmy Bobby Rusty. Huh? Huh? Timmy Bobby Rusty? Come on, look, he's got red hair. Act of power style? Are you my daddy? No. Well, Mike, adorable, huh? I can already feel those ratings going boom. Timmy Bobby uh, Rusty. <laughs> what does Timmy Bobby Rusty do exactly? Do? What does he do? He's adorable, and people will love it. <laughs> oh, that must be the Arbitron numbers. <laughs> hey, lady. Are you my nana? Look, Clay, I got to be honest. I don't like kids. Oh, damn. Timmy Bobby Rusty didn't bring the ratings up one scintilla. <laughs> well, don't worry, Nelson. There's still my nude celebrity trap shoot. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> and tasting and cooking. Hey, where's Tom Alicious? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he was ordered to leave the Bronx. <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. Can we read a letter? Yeah, let's read a letter. Okay. Well, I got a nice letter right, here from right here. Ben Keep Hurt it steady there, baby. Ben ben Hurt. Hurt. Yeah. Wow. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi there. <laughs> hey, where'd you get the helicopter? No, it's just a rental. It's not mine. Well, who's flying it? I don't know. Some guy works for the company. Rick, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, can we read this letter here? Yeah, better hurry, because I'm on the clock here. Right, okay. Yeah. It's from uh, Ben Hurt. Ben Hurt? He's got some nice... Ben Hurt. Ah, thank ben you. Hurt, and he's got some nice pictures here. Put that on still store, Cambot. Oh, Very Look at lovely. Girl. Help me, I'm grown. Nice rendition. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, uh, he says, uh, I'm your biggest fan, and I've seen all your shows, and I have to say, each one is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, progressive enjoyment. Uh, okay, whatever. You guys are so funny. I just have one question. Where do Crow, Tom Servo, and Gypsy sleep? Wherever the hell we want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Ben. That's a great letter. Okay, bring me up, Rick. Bye-bye, fellas. Okay, bye-bye, then. Bye-bye. Bye. Odd little guy, huh? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Clay! Clay, what is that infernal noise? Clay! I'm eating cereal, Mother. Clay, that noise, make it stop. Oh, all right, you crazy old loon. Hey, keep it down! I got my mother in a home over here! You don't like my laughing, eh? <laughs> if you could just keep it down just a little bit. Hey, <laughs> what you in there for? I hear of a jack in the box, but I never hear of a lady in the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a personal matter. You shut up. Yes, shutting up. And you? You'll come with me, you beautiful lady. <laughs> Eat my dust, Clayton. I'm going off with this beautiful olive-skinned man. <laughs> <laughs> well, drive safely. Uh, huh. It's been an odd day. Ooh, ooh. 
Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to the SOL, the satellite of laughs, as we like to call it. <laughs> We've tied up Mike and jammed an oily rag into his mouth so that we may bring you the following joke. <laughs> you see, if you live long enough, eventually someone's going to say the word Thunderdome in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I'm guessing most of you aren't equipped with a snappy comeback. Well, we're going to give you one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll act it out for you. <clears throat> Boy, I still think we really screwed up on that whole Thunderdome fiasco. Oh, come on. Can't we just get beyond Thunderdome? <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> now, as you can see, your stooge can't mention the movie Beyond Thunderdome, because that just ruins the whole joke. You'll just have to wait until someone mentions a Thunderdome, not the specific one in Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> also, it really helps if your stooge speaks of a Thunderdome in a disparaging manner, as in our little playlet. <laughs> It'll still work if he speaks of a Thunderdome in a positive light, but if I were you, I'd wait till somebody slams a Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to the Rangoon version of this classic joke. Oh, yes. Yeah, real funny. You guys finished yet? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, why? Well, usually your little riffs tend to go on and on. Maybe oh, a little... please, Mike. Can we get beyond the riff? Ah! <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's it. Go to your room, both of you. Huh? Hey, what's up? What the... Hey. What's going on? What? Oh, are you still there? Oh, that's right. I forgot to disconnect the umbilicus. Look out, mother. Oh, oh well, we can see with you. Huh? huh? Who cut the umbilicus? Uh, Why? You can't disconnect the umbilicus. <laughs> we'll die. Oh, nonsense. You'll be pulled into Earth's gravitational field. Your orbit will decay. The hull will rupture. You'll burn to a crisp, and then you'll die. <laughs> what? You you can't do that. We've done everything you've ever asked. We watched every bad movie you sent up here. Yeah. Sorry. Bye-bye. You said you'd let us get back to Earth. Did I say that? Hmm. Well, maybe I did. What do you want? I'm evil. Well, this is kind of sudden. Look, I'm really very sorry. My hands are tied. I got a letter today. My funding has been cut, and you guys just aren't cutting the mustard, so... Well, I'm going to make another trip over. Uh, I think I found Frank. Oh, no, Mother, that's Frank's spare head. Uh, why don't we just put that in storage? Got it. I'm moving back in with Mom to save some scratch. At least her building has a pool. I'm sorry, what was the problem? How can you do this to us? Uh, criminy, I got an idea. What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. Do what you always do. Look, I've got to fill out these change of address cards. Well, I'm going to take another load over. Back in a few. Boy, I'm glad I never got rid of the big rig. Anyway, guys, uh, your orbit will begin to decay in about two hours, so I've uh, downloaded a film from the ship's internal memory. Uh, it's called Laser Blast, and Leonard Malton gives it two and a half stars. Well, now what? Booster engines firing! We now have impulse power! How did you do that? I took the governor off. <laughs> we have helm, Captain. <laughs> now entering Earth's atmosphere, hull temperature critical. Do we have enough power to escape the atmosphere? Uh, we won't have control. We'll be shot into deep space. I got to have more time. We don't have that time. Get ready to engage warp engines, Mr. Crow. Aye, aye. Engage. Oh, oh, we got moving! He's moving! I didn't engage the thing with you. Oh, get away from me, you little creep. I will not get away. I have been sent here to destroy imperfections. I find you, the gold unit, to be imperfect. Yeah, well, smooch my tiny imperfect little... Well, hey, loser, what it is? Ah, I got one of these nomad satellites on my butt. Yeah, it seems you can't go hurtling into the void of space without picking up one of these annoying little busybodies. You are in error. Yeah. I am not nomad. I am a similar design known as Monad. monad? I should destroy you, but I'll give you a mulligan on that one. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Did you say something imperfect? No, no, I'm sorry. Go on with your story. Stop it! Huh? Cut it out! Look, if you're going to say something imperfect, say it to the group. Oh, no, it's just that I was telling these guys, you know, we're having a little party on Thursday night, a little pop and pizza. I wondered if you'd like to join us. Sure, that sounds great. Ah, the party's on Friday night, not ah! Thursday. That means you're wrong and imperfect and you have to destroy yourself. You're telling me a fib? That doesn't mean I'm imperfect. Does too. Does that? Does too. If you were perfect, 
you would have known he was telling a fib. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to get into this with you clowns. You're imperfect, and I'm just going to destroy the lot of you. Yeah, right. I'm so scared. Ah. Come on. Ah. Give me your words. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Come on. Let's get out of here. 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 I was thinking that Gilbert got... What's going on? Oh, I don't know, Kemba. Give me rocket number nine. Oh, man, we've hit a field of star babies, and one of them's got the ship. Wow, he's upset. He must need changing. I thought I smelled something. All right, here's the plan, man. You got to get out there and change that baby's diaper. I'll walk you through the procedure from here. Go, 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 Good thing I hung on to this. Thank you. Oh, boy, geez, it really stinks out here. Oh. Well, hello, little baby. Oh, baby needs changing, doesn't he? Bro, <laughs> snap out of it, man. You cannot get personally involved. OK, Mike, we've located the diaper tabs. We're pulling the diaper off. Servo, wait. Huh? Do you have the clean diaper in your hand ready to go? Oh, yeah, thanks, Mike. <laughs> OK, the clean diaper is at the ready. Crow is pulling the dirty diaper away. Roger, tearing tabs and taking off dirty diaper. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Nelson, we've got a problem. The diaper leaked. It went all the way up his back. <laughs> OK, OK, we'll get you through this. Failure is not an option. Now slip the clean diaper under his bottom. What about the baby wipes, Mike? We've got to clean him up. OK, fine, but hurry up. <laughs> They're done and done. All right, now seal them up and get out of there. There. Star Baby is diapered, Mike. Oh, what should we do with the dirty diaper, Mike? Uh, I don't know. Put it on a shelf somewhere. Oh, boy, we got movie sign. Let's move, man! Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it is. It's a black hole! It's a black hole! Of course. You know, I had a feeling about that. And we're being sucked. And, and the short explanation is that we're all gonna die! Oh, 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 oh bitter irony. I just read an article by Stephen Hawking. Oh. Hold me, Crow. Embrace me in the moment of oblivion. Don't worry. Mike can help us. He's kind of smart, and his arms work, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> what are we panicking for, huh? <laughs> Mike can fix it. Yeah, he won't let us die. He's frosty in the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are in deep trouble. Huh? Stow it, you two. Mr. Gypsy, status report. Sir, the ship has been trapped in the gravity well. The black hole is presently plummeting towards the singularity. Mr. Cambot, red alert. Mr. Gypsy, you're with me. Mr. Servo, you have the con. All right, now what we need to do is realize... Oh, what's he doing with my toy phone? Uh, I, I, I don't know, but don't bother him. Oh, sure, he's gone totally mental, but... Look how poised he is, how confident. You know, you're right. And he has the subtle allure of a woman in the full flower of early middle age. All right. Ah. I've realigned the Penrose tubes and jettisoned the stream of Einsteinium through the Hawking converter, thereby reversing the Oppenheimer effect and propelling us through the Asimov space curtain. Mr. Kambot, engage. <laughs> Mr. Gypsy, report. We pulled three of the singularity and we turned to plummeting out of control and it ever increasing Excellent. <laughs> now, Mr. Servo, Mr. Crow, mm -hmm. I'm responsible for the lives of 148 crew members aboard this ship, 144 of which we never see. But sometimes, I have to get a little rough. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Rough. Because I never, ever do anything nice and easy. Rolling, rolling, I'm rolling on the river. Slowly. Very slowly and rough. Rolling, 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 rolling on the river. Mm, wow. See that? Hey, here we are at the edge of the universe. Uh, not quite, Mike. It's just a little bit more to go here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, there. there. The edge <laughs> of the universe. Yep, and I tell you, Mike, it's everything I could have hoped for. For example, all knowledge is clear to me now. Yeah, you know, and... And all wisdom and beauty uh, fill me with an abundant light, and, and all the eternal truths of the cosmos are available with a minimum of effort. <laughs> well, hey, there's God. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh. Hey, guys. 
Oh, What's up? Hey. Uh, oh, we're just at the edge of the universe. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. Mm -hmm. No wonder I've suddenly become aware that I can leave my corporeal body and become pure energy, or pure thought, or reason, or pure any number of things. Oh, here, let's see. <laughs> wow, cool. Let's do it, Mike. <laughs> Just let it happen, Mike. Okay, gotcha. Come on. Yeah, there's wow. Verbal, what are you? I think I am pure energy. Hey, I'm pure energy. Ah, you're nothing but pure canola oil, you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Pure Country, Mr. Huh? Pure Gint, Mr. No, pure well, yeah, Chewing yeah, come Satisfaction. Come on, hey, 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 guys, come on, come on, spread out now, come on. All that matters is that we're pure and eternal. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, hey, Gypsy. Uh, Hi, hey, honey. Why don't you drop your temporal being and become pure love or something, and then we'll all go play on the edge of the universe. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh come, come on, Gypsy. It's really fun. It's don't so be fun afraid. Join us. Come it's on. really great. Sure, it's just that. Oh, 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 my stars. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I hope I'm ready for this. I may only be 99 and 44 one hundredths percent pure. <laughs> well. That's probably good enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, hey, uh, Cambot, Magic Voice, join us. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, it's out here. Come on, energy. Oh. 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 Wonderful baby. Oh, poopy. <laughs> 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 